In this lesson, I'm going to give you just a quick introduction to sprays, particularly the spray bodies. Most manufacturers refer to these as sprays, even though you may hear some people refer to them as pop-ups. I think that's kind of misleading because rotors will also pop up out of their bodies and spray water. But um, these here, we refer to these as sprays. And you're going to find these in a number of different sizes. They start off in two inch. You can get three inch. Four inch is a pretty prevalent size. Also, you can get six inch and 12 inch. And we'll talk about the side inlets in a uh, further lesson, but you can get the six and 12 inch with and without the side inlet. This is a Toro without a side inlet on it. And these sprays come in uh, several different configurations. When you buy them, they may come with a flush plug installed. And this is for the installation process. When you're putting everything in the ground, it's, you know, kind of dirty and you're going to backfill your trenches and everything. And then every, after everything is installed, flush everything out. This one's got a directional flush uh, plug in it. And this is going to, you know, you can turn this and spray in the direction you want it to spray. You know, not on the, the street or back in the dirt or whatever you want there. So that once you flush it out, then you can go back and pull this up, take this off and put your nozzle on it. We're going to talk about the nozzles in a further lesson. There's a whole lot to it. Most manufacturers have many different, even a couple of hundred different options as far as nozzle goes. Several different kinds of nozzle series that may be match precipitation rate, maybe variable adjustable nozzles. But you can buy sprays with the nozzles pre-installed. Typically, that's how you're going to find them if you're buying your sprays from a, a warehouse store, a big box store, maybe like a Lowe's or Home Depot or something like that. And this is the, the Rainbird Sure Pop 600 2-inch. And this one uh, actually has a 15-foot, 180-degree nozzle installed in it. And, you know, like I said, we'll talk about the nozzles a little bit later on, but most sprays don't have any kind of shut-off device on it. Instead, the nozzle has a screw down in the middle, and as long as you have the screen installed underneath the nozzle, you can run that screw in and shut off this particular head. Or if it's a, a variable adjustable nozzle, you can cut the pattern down to zero and effectively shut it off. But um, let's take a look here at a clear example. Basically, the spray is just a vehicle for the nozzle itself. The nozzle is what is the, the variable part about it, that you can get the nozzles in different sizes, different arcs, or distance that it'll throw. But the shaft rises up out of the body, and if you can see down here, it has a stainless steel spring that retracts the shaft back into the body after the zone shuts off and the pressure diminishes in the zone. But the nozzle attaches here. And it has a screen that comes with every nozzle. I definitely recommend that you put these screens in here. It'll keep your nozzle from getting clogged up. Now, the screen may get clogged up eventually, but it has more holes and more availability for water to flow through it versus the, screen, the nozzle itself, which has very small orifices and only really one place where it comes through and distributes out through the nozzle. So it's always better to use the screen. And the screen is also where the screw seats down against this to shut it off. And so this the screw in it can also diminish the, the, the pattern, the distance that it's throwing, right? So there's some things that we'll talk about there, but the shaft will retract back in there, and there's not a whole lot to these. So let's talk about one more feature that you may find is this is the shrub adapter. So the shrub adapter is a little piece here that fits on top of a riser. Now all sprays, as far as I know, are half inch models, right? The inlet on the bottom of these are half inch, and also the side inlet as well. But this is a half inch riser here or nipple. A nipple just refers to a short section of pipe that usually has threads on both ends. So this is a half inch, um, 12 inch riser. And the shrub adapter is just a little plastic piece that has on the inside the FIP or the, the female iron pipe threads in it that'll fit onto a typical PVC or iron pipe threaded device, whether it's uh, steel or PVC 
or whatever, but um, and it, the th male threads on the top fit the nozzle. Now, the, the threads that the nozzles attached to aren't iron pipe size. They're actually smaller and a little more delicate and easier to strip out. Okay, so just be careful as you're putting those on there that you don't get grit down in there and strip it out and get some water blowing by or whatever. And so that really brings us to the very last thing we want to talk about is the configuration of the threads. You can get these set up in both male and female threaded bodies. Hunter, Rainbird, and Eritrol use male threaded spray bodies, which means the nozzles are female threaded, but K-Rain makes male and female for, you know, adapting for whatever, you know, you're using or to, to swap out. And Toro exclusively makes female threaded spray bodies and male threaded nozzles. So you don't see any, um, you don't see any threads on this here because it's a female threaded body and a male threaded nozzle. Of course, this is just the plug in it. But those are pretty much the configurations that you're going to find in sprays, and we'll talk about some features and options in a further lesson.